Hi, Abe. Good to see you again. Hi. Can I uh, take a look at your scores? Sure. So while I'm looking at these, just uh, tell me in your own words how you've been feeling this week. Well, I would say I, I think I'm a little bit better. I don't, I don't know if I know exactly why, but I feel a little bit better. Like when I woke up in the morning, I was able to get up more, uh -huh. more easily. Um, and I think that when I was, you know, just like reading the paper, even the sports section, I, was, I, I felt like I was able to concentrate a little better. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah. And it looks like you're sleeping better too? Well, I, um, I think that what I meant by that was um, mostly that I didn't oversleep. Okay because I, I had been spending a lot of time in, in bed and right. I didn't get up. I mean, I would say I got up at seven, but I didn't really get up at seven. Oh, that's great. That's great. And your looks like your concentration, things like reading the newspaper, you said. Yeah. That's a little better too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm really glad. So um, you said you don't have any idea as to why you're feeling better. Maybe that's not entirely fair. Maybe it's because of the, the things that, that we're doing here uh -huh. that are helping. Oh, that's great. And we'll, we'll get to those things in just a minute. But let's set the agenda. So what, what would be your goal for today's session? Well, um, I guess to, to start thinking about working on the things that that make it difficult for me to do things to get better. Like uh -huh. we talked about doing, you know, going out and, and doing things. And, and last time we talked about what I would like things to be like by Labor Day. Um, so what's something that uh, you would like to be able to do but you've been having trouble doing? Or something either well, going yeah, out or in the apartment? Or well, it's, it's kind of like the evenings are really hard for me uh -huh. because even if I go out and do something, then at the end of the day I go back and I'm there by myself yeah. and, and then I'm just sort of there with my thoughts. Yeah, good. Okay, so we'll, we'll try to get to evenings. Anything else? Any other goals you have? I would say that that's probably the, uh, the main thing. Well, you know, I, I should do something about my apartment. I don't uh -huh. keep after that. Like, like I should, and so maybe. Um, Want to get your apartment in, in better order? Yeah, okay. but that seems like such a big job. I, I don't know where to start. Yeah, well, maybe we could figure out together where to start. Okay, well, that sounds good. And I'd also so we're setting the agenda. I'd also like to talk a little bit more about these depressing thoughts that you've been having, and uh, talking some more about credit, if that's okay. Okay. All right, you know what I'd like to do next is just to turn to the notes from, actually from the evaluation, and then the notes from uh, last session. Okay. So is, if it's all right, I'll just read this, and I'd like you to tell me what you think about this now. When I start to feel more depressed, yeah. you find it? Yeah. Um, remind myself that the therapy plan makes sense. Does it still make sense to you? Yes, it okay. does. With Judith's help, I'll be working toward goals every week, step by step. I'll learn how to evaluate my thinking, which might be 100% true or 0% true or someplace in the middle. What, what do you think about that? Well, I think this, the, the, the idea of working toward goals every week is, is a good idea. And, uh -huh. and, and I think that you're helping me to figure out what those things are is, is good. If I evaluate my thinking, which may be a hundred percent or not, or somewhere in the middle, um, you know, we really haven't done that yet. Help you evaluate your thinking. We've just been identifying your thinking. But does it make sense to you that you s might still be seeing the world through black glasses? Mostly. Yeah, that the thoughts yeah. might not all the thoughts are a hundred percent true. I think then. most of my, my my thoughts are, 
but when I go out and do things, then I feel better when I'm doing oh, them. That's, that's and I terrific. don't have as many black thoughts then. Yeah. So it sounds like this next part is true then. The way I'll feel better is by making small changes in my thinking and behavior every day. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, we also talked about at the evaluation, we, we, didn't, we covered it just a little bit last session, so I want to talk about it more this session. Give myself credit for doing things on the action plan, for doing anything else that helps me get over the depression, and for anything that's even a little bit difficult, but I do it anyway. Were you any better at giving yourself credit this week? I, I think so. I mean, last week I hadn't really done that much that I really felt that I deserved any credit, uh -huh. but I, I, I tried to push myself this week and do the things we talked about, so I yeah, I, I, I was better because I was able to That's recognize great. I was pushing myself and doing it. Well, I think in a few minutes maybe we'll talk about keeping a uh, credit list, so we'll get to that too. So again, what was the best part of this past week, or when did you feel the best? When were you at your best? Well, all, all of the things. I mean, just going out for a walk is better than sitting on the couch. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I went, went out with my grandson again, and, uh -huh. and that was good. Ethan again? Ethan. Yeah. yeah. What'd you do with him? Um, well, we just went out and got ice cream uh -huh. uh, uh, again. Vanilla? I, well, I tried a different flavor <laughs> this time. Did you? What'd you try? Um, it was a it was a chocolate swirl thing. Uh -huh. that so which it was you, different. Which do you like better, the vanilla the week before? Or I don't know. I about the same. I like trying something new. Oh, that's good. Good for you. Um, so you were at your best when you took Ethan for ice cream again. Yeah. Yeah. And again, what was good about taking him for ice cream? I, I think it's it's just fun to to be with him and mm -hmm. just talk about stuff and mm -hmm. to feel kind of like a normal person. Yeah. So you felt less depressed when you were out with him? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So does that imply that actually you might be able to do things that can help you feel better? I guess so. Was it easy it was, to go out with him or was it still hard? It was easier than, than the first uh -huh. time. It was a lot easier than the first oh, time. Good. I mean, I still have some questions, but it was a lot easier. You know, if it was easier, it makes me think that your thinking must have been different. Do you know what you were thinking as you were, th uh, so you're getting well, ready to go out with him? What were well, you thinking? I was thinking, well, last time went pretty good, so no reason to think that this time won't be good, too. Yeah. So I was just sort of more able to look forward to it as, as, I was, as I was going to do it. So this time you were making a positive prediction, and yeah. your, your mood was better, yeah. and it made it easier to go out. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Um, I want to just get back to the therapy notes from last week, too. So, were you able to read these every day? I, I did, oh. yeah. I, I read it and every day. Were you day. able to pull them out any other times during the day? I'm not sure we even um, asked didn't. you to do that. I, d I just sort of, like, after I got up in the morning and took a shower and stuff, I just sort of... You would, you would I, read this. I, I, right, yeah. right. Okay, so tell me what you think of this. When I criticize myself, remember, I'm only looking at part of the scene, and it's through black glasses. Judy says it's not my fault, it's happening because I have depression. I, I think that there's some truth to that. Uh -huh. Do you think you're accepting this fact more, that you do have a real illness? Last week, uh, I think it was a hard thing to th even think about. Well, I think that was the first time that I really thought about it in that way. And when you went down and read the list of things uh -huh. to me, I mean, I could say, yeah, that's, that's me. That's you. So, you it, know, so I think that, you know, it's, 
it's in a book, it must mean something. Yeah. So are you thinking now that um, your condition is more like pneumonia? Something that happens so. that has yeah. these really negative symptoms, makes everything harder? Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good. And then we talked about last week about how your thinking influences how you feel and what you do. Were you able to catch any of those automatic thoughts this week? I don't think I even called them automatic. You're just your depressed thoughts. Just my thoughts, yeah. Um, Did you catch any this week? Yeah, when, um, I, I guess the worst ones, like what I said that sitting on the couch was, is, is, is hard, so when I was sitting there, you know, there would be times when I, I, I was thinking that, you know, I'm not going to get better. Uh huh. And when you and had that thought, how did that make you feel? Bad. And were you able, able to remind yourself at all that just because you think something doesn't necessarily mean it's true? It yeah, I, I did. Uh -huh. um, and I can't say I believe that 100%, but I believe it more okay. than I did in the beginning. That's good. And, and and then probably in my weaker moments, I said, you know, this this isn't going to work. Uh huh. Meaning this therapy. This therapy. Yeah. You know, that. You know, so I went out and had ice cream with my grandson. Well, I ought to be doing that anyway. And I went for a walk. Well, I ought to be doing uh, that anyway. So you got anyway, really self-critical. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can we talk? Um, yeah, I think I'll come back to the rest of the homework in a few minutes. Let's, let's talk about a credit list, if that's all right. Okay. It seems to me that you've lost a lot of confidence in yourself. Mo losing my job really, really hurt. Yeah. It seems to me you've lost confidence in a, in a lot of ways. So you've lost confidence about your ability to work. You're afraid that even if you got a job, you wouldn't do it very well. It seems like you've lost confidence in your ability to keep your apartment in order. You've lost confidence in um, how other people might view you. It makes it harder to get together with friends. You think I'm right about this? Yeah. Well, and we haven't even talked much about my ex-wife, you know, yeah. about the fact that the, the marriage failed, you know, that's, yeah. that's pretty bad. Well, it's not too. surprising that you've lost confidence in yourself because that's what depression really does. It really makes you lose confidence. And it would be really, really important for you to recognize that you are taking steps to take control of your life again. And so yeah. that's why I'd like you to keep a credit list in writing if you can. In fact, let's see, I think, did I bring this with me? No, I didn't. So um, you could just keep it on any kind of piece of paper, or you could keep this credit list on a uh, three by five card that you keep in your pocket, or you could um, keep a list on your phone. And this is just like my saying, good job to myself? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And this is when I want you to do it. We talked a little bit about this at the evaluation. Whenever you do anything that's even a little bit difficult, but you do it anyway, you deserve credit for that. Okay. Should I write that down on your action plan for you? Yeah. Now, if you had pneumonia, and yet you were able to get yourself out of bed, you were able to go to the supermarket, you were able to put in a load of laundry, would you think you deserve credit for it? Yeah. 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 O only because even though I think I'm supposed to do them, I haven't done them for a long exactly. time. Exactly. That's exactly right. The depression has been so severe, it's been so hard for you to do these things. Yeah. And it sounds to me as if you've done some things this week that were even a little bit difficult, but you did them anyway. Is that right? Yeah, going for the walks, and, and I walked by the church one day, too. Oh, that's great. 
All right, so we can start your credit list right now. Should I give you a piece of paper? I, I can write it on here. Okay. I've got it here. Um, so you said this week you walked by the church. Mm -hmm. It was easier to take your son out for ice cream. Was it easy? Not easy, but... Okay, so if it was even a little bit difficult... Easier. Then it goes on the list. Took Ethan out for ice cream. What did you even do today that was a little bit difficult, but you did it anyway? Well, yeah, I, I don't know that this was even on, on the list, but when I, when I, uh, after I got up and, and took my shower this morning, I, I straightened up a couple things in the apartment. Oh, that's great. Was that um, even a little bit difficult? Well, it was really hard. Okay, so but write I that on your I list. I didn't make a big dent in everything that needs to be right. done. And that's, we have that on our agenda to talk more about today. But you did some things around the apartment just, we hadn't even talked about you doing that. No, I just moved them around a little bit. Okay. Kind of make it clear a path to walk through. Was it good that you did that or would it have been better if you hadn't done it? It was a good idea. It's good you did it, so it yeah. absolutely belongs on the list. How about getting out of bed? Was that easy today? It was a lot easier. Well, I'm st so I wake up and lots of times I just stay in bed. Uh -huh. But what I've been trying to do is push myself to actually get out of bed when I wake up at 7. So I, I pushed bed. myself and, yeah. and got up. All right, so. so can you write down, got out of bed? You know, a lot of people say, well, why do I deserve credit for getting out of bed? It's just what I should do. Yeah. Is that something you were thinking? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have to tell you that every morning when I get out of bed, I give myself credit. Because I would much rather, you know, turn off the alarm and go back to sleep. Hmm. But I don't. And I say, well, it's good you got up. And I'm not even depressed. Okay. So, so Abe, once you're over the depression, it'll be your choice as to whether you give yourself credit for getting out of bed or not. But while it's still even a little bit difficult, it's really important. Okay. Can you see how giving yourself credit for these things might help you build up your confidence? Show you that you are able to do things that are difficult? I wasn't thinking about it that way, but I, I mean, I just kind of feel better thinking about it yeah. that I'm doing those things. but. I have to somehow remind myself that it has to do with building confidence, Yeah, too. that's good. Should I write that on your action plan, too? Yeah. Uh, so when I do anything that's even a little bit difficult, give myself credit. And how should I phrase it? This will build my this confidence? This will build my confidence. Yeah, this will build my confidence. Anything else you did today that was even a little bit difficult? Um, no, I, I thought about doing something, but I didn't do it. Uh -huh. so. How about coming to therapy today? Was that even a little bit difficult? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That goes on your list, too. So came to therapy. Okay. So we have a bunch of things that you did just even today that you deserve credit for. Now, if you don't give yourself credit for those things, what happens? Then I just think about it the same way I always did, that I ought to be doing that stuff anyway. Yeah. And so you feel, what, so guilty? You feel bad? feel bad, guilty, lazy. Right. Instead of, wow, these, th these things are hard because I'm depressed. So, of course, you deserve credit for doing it. Right? Yeah. Do you think you could keep a list like this every day? Yeah, I could maybe. Maybe it would help if I would do this while I'm sitting on the couch at nighttime. Oh, because that's a that's, great idea. That's when I have trouble. Yeah. Okay. So keep list. Uh, do at night. Now the only problem with only doing it at night is 
that if you're like most people, you're likely to forget 90% of what you actually did. Yeah. But I'm wondering, uh, I see you wearing the rubber band. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It sounds like, you. did that work to have you ask yourself what was going through your mind? Yeah, when I had, when, when I was sitting, that's how I realized that, that the evenings were difficult because I was ah. kind of, I was sitting there and having a hard time and normally, you know, I just go get a beer and, and not think about it, but because of this, then I thought about it and I, then I knew what the thoughts were. So I wonder if you could use the rubber band to remind you not only to look for your depressing thoughts, which might or might not be true, but to also ask yourself, what have I done in the last hour or two hours or something like that that I deserve credit for? Yeah. So using the rubber band as a reminder. Okay, so back to what you got done this past week. Uh, did, were you able to take a look at the goal list? Yeah, right here. Do you have any changes on that? No, I still, I mean, visiting family is still really important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, still the idea about the job, like I, I really want, well, I looked at it. I, I really want one, but I'm afraid I'll mess it up still. Yeah. Um, so if we have time, maybe we'll get back to that. And the goal, this yes, was one of the job. things I said I thought about, but I didn't do. I thought about, you know, calling, calling up one of my friends, but I uh -huh. didn't. Well, I think we had, we had agreed that that might be too hard for you. Yeah. So that, I don't think that was even part of your action plan. Let me just see what was. Walking by the church, you said you did that. Um, f did you uh, visit the kids other than taking Ethan well, for ice cream? Well, when I went to, to see Ethan, the, the other kids were there. Uh -huh. So I, you know, spent a few minutes playing with them. That's great. Uh, you were going to go out to the supermarket? Were you able to do that? I did, yeah. I got, I mean, it's just good to have some, some vegetables and and stuff in the house mm -hmm. instead of just eating everything out of a can. And you were supposed to try to get out of the house at least four times this week. Were yeah. you able to? Yeah, I did. I mean, I mean, if I get to count going out with Ethan as one of those oh, times, sure. then was it even there was more a, than four? Well, that I I walked by the church one day. I did maybe five days. Oh, excellent. So Sorry. what would you like to do this week in terms of getting out of the house? Well, I'm afraid to set the bar too high, so maybe five range? times. How about four to six times? No, How I, does that sound? I should be able should to do that. Should I write that on your action plan? Yeah. Okay. I should be able to do that. Get out of house four to six times. So you were able to get out of the house. What was good about getting out of the house? What did it show you? Well, one, that I can do things that up to this point I just thought I couldn't do. Right. I'm writing that down. I can do things I thought I couldn't do. And when I do them, I feel good about it. Yeah. When I do them, I feel good about them. So does this imply that maybe you can start to take more control over your mood? Maybe it does. So what should I write down about that? I, well, I think it's still more in the form of a question in my head. Does uh -huh. this mean that? So it's kind of like a... How about a, a maybe this means? Yeah. Is that maybe. about right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it means that. This means what? Mm. I can take that there control. are things I can do that uh -huh. I can take control. Yep, exactly. There are things I can do to take control. Well, I want to talk just a little bit more about depressing thoughts. And then maybe we can talk about getting your apartment in order, or would you rather talk about uh, evenings? If we only have time to get to one of those, which would you like to get to? Evenings. Evenings, they're, okay. Yeah, they're a problem. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. 
So you were able to catch some of these depressed thoughts this week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so what do you think of this idea that the way that you feel, say, for example, as you're taking a walk or as you're with Ethan, the way that you feel is going to depend at least in great part as to what's going through your mind? Well, I think, I, I think there's truth to that. Yeah. And, for example, so when you thought, uh, I'll never get better, never what get effect better. did that have on your mood? Just made me depressed, made me want to give up. Exactly. And if you have that thought again, I'll never get better, how would you like to answer that thought? I guess the first thing is, it's, it's, <laughs> that's not a sure thing that I'll never get better right. any, a, anymore. That's excellent. That's not a sure thing. Um, what makes you think that it might not be true? Because when I do stuff, I feel better. Yeah, exactly. So you've really started to prove that to, your, to yourself then. Yeah. So I've started to prove this to myself. And what was the other thought? Um, this, this isn't this going isn't to work. This isn't going to work. Yeah. That therapy isn't going to work. And what and would you like to remind yourself about that? Well, I, I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like a little bit it, it already is. So it seems a little bit that it already is. That's good. All right, I got that on your action plan for you. Okay. Now, we call these kinds of thoughts, these thoughts that just seem to pop up into your mind, we call them automatic thoughts. And it's not your fault that you're having them. The reason that you're having these really negative automatic thoughts is because you're depressed. So we've been talking about that. Okay. And yeah. so this week, you're going to use the rubber band again to try to keep on identifying those thoughts. Yeah. And to keep on reminding yourself that just because you think them doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. Yeah. And here I've written down uh, uh, answers to a couple of the automatic thoughts you had this past week that you might have this coming week. Okay. If I think I'll never get better, remind myself that's not a sure thing. I've started to prove this to myself. This isn't going to work. If I think that, remind myself it seems a little bit that it already is. Good. I, I think that might help. Now, before we get to evenings, or maybe it has something to do with evenings, it does. Um, you said earlier today that being with the family is really important to you. I wonder if there's something that you could do in the evenings, you know, either being with your family or talking to them on the phone. What would, you, what would you like to be able to do? If you weren't depressed, what would you do? Well, I'd like to go over, but I don't, I don't want to invite myself. Mm -hmm. But I could call them and talk to them on okay. the phone. And oftentimes when I call, they invite me over. Okay, so you're going to talk so, on the phone to whom? My, my son and my daughter. Great. I could give them a call. Uh huh. So, you have a, you have some thought that gets in the way of your saying, "Hey, is it convenient for me to come over?" I don't, I don't want to impose. Mm -hmm. So the thought is, if I invite myself. I'll be imposing on them. Yeah. Is that right? I'll be imposing on them. Yeah. We can take a moment here to try to figure out whether that thought is 100% true or 0% true or someplace in the middle. I don't know. It might be 100% true. But what makes you think that they'll see it as an imposition? I don't, I don't know if they will. I just think of it. I, I just think of 
myself well, that way. Have you, before you got depressed, did you ever invite yourself over? Yeah, I come over and spend some time with with the oh. kids. And, yeah, and did green. they seem to have a negative attitude about your doing that? No, not at all. They uh -huh. always seemed happy to have me come over. I see. And were there any times when you um, invited yourself over where they said, gee, today isn't a really good time? They didn't say, well, they, th yeah, they would just, instead of saying it's not a good time, they'd say something like tomorrow would be better, you know, because right. we've got something scheduled something today. Something scheduled, right. So if I could summarize what you just said, in the past when you've uh, invited yourself over, they've been glad to see you. And it sounds like they've been honest if it would be an imposition on them. So have they changed in some way, do you think, that they wouldn't want you to come over now? No. I, th I think it's just I've changed my thinking, the way I think about my, when I get into that spiral, yeah. you know, I start thinking that stuff, and then I guess it's stuff I just make up. So if, um, I wonder if another way of looking at this is that maybe they would do exactly what they've done in the past, which is either to welcome you or to reschedule. I think that's possible. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Yeah. yeah, and if the worst happens and they say, gee, sorry, but we're really busy now, then how could you cope with that? I could call the other one. Oh, that's a great idea, right. So, but that's only the worst that could happen. What's the best that could happen if you called one of them? They'd say, sure, we'd love to have you over when would you like to come? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. And what do you think is the most realistic outcome? They, they probably say something like, yeah, that, that'd be great. We'd be happy to have you over. You know, Thursday night would be a good time. Can you come over then? So the most realistic is that they'd be really glad that you called. I think so. And they'd, they'd set a date with you. They, they were always good in the past about those kinds of things. It's just like, yeah. just since I started going downhill, it was more like me not calling them, not, yeah. not them saying they didn't want to see me. Yeah, right. So how do you want to answer this thought, if I invite myself, I'll be imposing on them? Well, in the past, they've always been happy to hear from me. Yeah. So in the past, they were always happy to hear from me. That's good. So would you like to set yourself an action plan item about this? I should call one of them anyway, if not mm -hmm. both. What do you think, one or both? How about one with the other one being optional? That sounds good. Okay, so you're going to call your son or the dog. Which one's going to be optional? My daughter will be optional. Okay. So, do you think it might be a good idea for you to call them and try to go over one evening? Since evenings are so tough for you? Yeah. Yeah, that would be really good if I could do that. Yeah. And then optionally, you'd call the other one and see if you could go over one evening. Yeah. What else would you like to be able to do in the evenings? Well, you know, the, ki the grandkids, they have different kinds of activities going on. Uh -huh. I could, you know, I, I could go to something. I could go to a game or, or a concert, you know, until you know, th this is sort of the end of the school year for them. Yeah. And they've got different kinds of things going on at school that I can do. Sounds to. great. That's great. Um, and on the evenings when you stay in your apartment, what would you like to be doing? I know what I should do, but I, um, well, I should do something. Well, even if I could read the paper and concentrate on it, that would be an improvement. Okay, so another thing is you might read the newspaper. Like read the entire sports section. That would be an ah. improvement. Okay. I used to like politics, but 
that's getting harder. So I don't, I don't okay. know if I want to do that now. I think we should make the entire sports session, uh, sports section um, optional. But at least you'd read part of it. Part of it. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned uh, getting your apartment in better order. Is there something you'd like to do during the day or the evening about that? I should probably clean up the kitchen. You know, I just get the dirty stuff out of the sink and put it away. Mm -hmm. That would. So, cleaning the kitchen, but not the whole kitchen, right? You just yeah, said not the whole kitchen. Just clean the, the sink. Clean the sink. Okay, that sounds good. Well, which would be, by itself, a, a, a big improvement. Yeah. So, how likely are you to clean the sink? Part of it. For sure. Uh -huh. um, you want to maybe set a time limit on it, like clean the sink for 10 minutes and then you can stop? That would be good. Okay. I could, I, that way I, I could do that and yeah. be okay with putting the 10 minutes in. Is there something else you'd like to do this week? Something that, you know, around the apartment that if you did it, you could say, okay, this shows I'm starting to take control, starting to take control of the apartment like doing the, some of the dishes, what else would make a difference to you? I'd probably clean the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like a big job. Well, maybe just the sink. Okay. Clean the bathroom sink. Is this enough or should we give you one more it's thing to do? starting to sound like a lot. All right. So let me go through, if this is okay, the action plan that we have so far and then let's cross some things off or make some things easier. So when you do uh, anything that's even a little bit difficult, you're going to give yourself credit. Okay. And you're going to write it on got a that. piece of I've paper. You've my, already started got my rubber here. band and you got your and rubber as band. a reminder to yep. do that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put I've down rubber that. band, right. And um, we wrote down that the reason to do this is that it will build your confidence. And this is something that you're going to do at night, but you're going to keep the rubber band and at least try to keep track of these things during the day also. Yep. Okay. Uh, get out of the house four to six times. How does that sound? Yeah. I can do that. Okay. Um, how much do you agree with this idea? I can do things I thought I couldn't do. How true do you think that is? True. Well, little things anyway. That's mm -hmm. true. It's true. Good. I mean, I've already done that. So I'm writing true next bit. to that. Um, when I do them, I feel good about them. Yeah, I agree with that. That's true. Uh, maybe this means there are things I can do to take control. Fifty percent, I believe okay. that. Okay. Maybe we'll come back to that if we have time. If I think I'll never get better, remind myself that it's not that not getting better is not a sure thing. I've started to prove this to myself. I've started doing things, and when I do those things, I feel better. So that's kind of proof that d doing things could help. Uh, and when you think this isn't going to work, remind myself it seems a little bit that it already is. Yeah. That, believe that? That's true, yeah, okay. because, because I do feel better. When now, could you read these therapy notes um, every morning? Mm -hmm. You want to keep them by the coffee maker like the other ones? Could you read the other notes too, the ones from last week and the ones from the yes. week before? Yeah, I have those. Okay, so I'll write that here. Read all the therapy notes. I think they probably are all still relevant to you. Yeah. Um, in the morning, and, and I do think it would help to read them later on in the day. Would you be willing to try to do that? Yeah, I'm just trying to think when would be the time to do it. I, I mean, I've said I'd do a couple things in the evenings on the couch, and I'm, I'm afraid to 
overload the evening to have too many things on, on the list at the end of the day. How, so how long do you think it will take you to read the notes? Five, five minutes. No, I don't think so. I think it will probably take a minute and a half. If we had time, I'd have you write, read them right now and we could time you. But that's fine. If you'd like to read in the afternoon, that's fine. Well, what would you think about setting a timer on your phone? That's what I do all the I time. I think maybe when I, when I eat my dinner, that would be. Oh, OK. That, that Great. Would be. All right, so how are you going to remind yourself? Do you want a, uh, a note um, in the kitchen? I'll just do make you? this a multi-purpose rubber band. <laughs> OK, so when you notice the rubber band at dinner, you'll yeah. say, read the notes. OK, so notice the rubber band to remind you. It helps me to write it down, too. Good. I'm going to give you a copy of this, too, Thank so you. you'll have two copies. Um, talk on the, f oh, so I want to make sure that these things don't sound overwhelming. Talk on the phone to your son and daughter, to your son, and then talking to your daughter is optional. Well, yeah. Um, I'll call him. I'll call him. And, and uh, invite yourself over. Can Maybe we make that optional? Yep. Let's do that. I'll call him, but. Inviting self over is optional. Oh. And I did put a, a note on here. Um, in the past, they were always happy to hear from me. That's right? true. So maybe that'll help. OK, and then in the uh, yeah. evenings, we said. Yeah, if you could just draw a line from that over to yep. making the phone call so that I. That links up there. Yeah. That's good. Uh, in the evenings, we talked about trying to go to a game or a concert, something that your ch grandchildren are involved in. Or even during the day, oh, because they, they have things during the day at school. So day or, or evening. you know, things in the late afternoon. So do you want to keep that on, or do you want to make that optional? I'd like to do that. OK. Uh, in the evening, read the newspaper, if you can, even the entire sports section. Want to keep that on? Yeah. Okay. And then I think these things were for the day, but I'm not sure. One was clean the kitchen sink for ten minutes. No, I think that was in the evening that I. Oh, okay. Want, wanted to do that be because that would give me something to do. Okay. Instead of just sitting on the couch. Got it. So how likely are you to do that one evening? One evening. Mm -hmm. For ten minutes. I'll do that. And cleaning the bathroom sink? Less so. Optional? Mm, yeah. OK. So this is, um, there's a lot on the sheet, but most of it is just reading things to yourself. So the yeah. stuff we actually have you doing is giving yourself credit, getting out of the house four to six times, reading your therapy notes, Talking on the phone to your son, going to a game or to a concert or something with your grandchildren. Looking at some kind of school activity. Okay. Uh, reading the newspaper at least once, and then cleaning the kitchen sink. How hard will it be to give yourself credit? I think I can do that. Mm -hmm. um, and remind me what the point is of giving yourself credit. Well. I recognize then that I'm doing something even though I have depression. Yeah. And that by doing these things, it gives me a way to take control exactly. over that. Exactly. And then what happens to your confidence in yourself? Better. It gets better, right. So you think you can give yourself credit? Do you think you can get out of the house four to six times? Mm. You think it's going to be easier this week to get out of the house at least four times? Yeah, or I harder? like doing that. Okay, so it sounds like that. Uh, reading the therapy notes, how hard will that be? That won't be hard. Okay. Yeah. Talking to your son on the phone, how hard will that be? Mm -hmm. it, after I call him, it'll be fine. He'll be happy to hear from uh -huh. me. It's just dialing the number that's going to be the hard part. Yeah. And so is there something you want to remind yourself of? Why do something that's hard? Why call because your son? Because they've always been happy to hear from me before. 
Yeah. Any other reasons to call your son? Family, connections, mm -hmm. just a bunch you of stuff. You think your your son might feel good if you called him? He'd probably be happy to hear from me. Yeah. So it would help you, and it would probably make your son feel good. When you I realize that, does it make it harder to do or easier to do? Easier because I think they're worried about me, and uh -huh. if they hear from me, they'll they'll feel better. Exactly. And how hard will it be to read the newspaper? Well, that shouldn't be hard as long as I'm I've as long as I can concentrate on right. it. Um, going to an at least one event with your uh, that your grandchildren are involved with. Like, I can do that. It's just maybe a scheduling thing Think, about right. whether or not. I, I mean, I I don't have any idea what. I just know that towards the end of the school year, they do stuff. Yeah. So um, well, maybe we'll just put if it works out. That's good. Uh, cleaning the sink for 10 minutes, how hard is that going to be? I think making it for 10 minutes makes it easier. Mm -hmm. If I think about I have to clean up the sink, that would be really hard. Right. But 10 minutes, I, 10 no, minutes. That, I can do that. That's good. And reading all your therapy notes, not just this week, but from last week and the week before. I, can, I think you can do that. I can, I can do that over dinner. Great. From there. Well, Abe, I think you've got a great action plan here. Yeah. Even if you could only do half of it, it would be so much better than you were doing three weeks ago, wouldn't it? It's a lot more. Yeah. And I think if you're able to not only do it, but give yourself credit, my guess is you're pretty soon going to really notice this, you know, small changes in your mood. I notice the change in my mood when I'm doing stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's great That's that you can see that. So what do you think of today's session? It, I mean, it, it, it's good, and, you know, I start thinking, well, maybe, maybe this will work because mm -hmm. um, th these are all things that I, I want to do. Yeah, but it's been really hard because of the, those black glasses, I think. Yeah. Don't you think that those thoughts have really gotten in the way? Yeah, I want to do them, and I think that if I do do them, I think that things will go better. I think so too. Now, of course you're going to have your ups and downs this week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So there are probably going to be times when you're more depressed, but when you're when you are feeling more depressed, you know, the best thing to do is just to get up off the couch. Anything that you do other than sitting on the couch thinking depressing thoughts is better than that. Anything that you do. And the whole thing with depression is depression uh, saps motivation. It makes you just want to sit on the couch. And so what's really important is not to do what you feel like doing when you're depressed, because all you feel like doing is sitting on the couch. But what's really important to do is the things that will help you take better control. So not what you feel like doing, but the things that will help you feel more in control. Should I write okay. that down too? Can I, I've got it. You got you it. Can. Yeah. yeah, well, I'll put it here so I'll know it from my notes too. Okay. So not what you feel like doing, but what will help you feel in control. That's good. So was there anything I said today that bothered you or you thought I got wrong? No. No. no, it was real helpful. And how about when you come in next time? Anything you want to do differently? No, I think that if we just keep doing this, yeah, I'm hope, hope, hoping this works. Oh, I think it's going to work. I really do. Uh, see you next time. Okay. Next week, same time. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay.